Hello Cancer, welcome to your general reading for the week. Um, <clears throat> before I get started, I would like to remind you that this is just a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Um, time is fluid and energies are interchangeable, which means that it's not gender specific. Uh, so just keep an open mind and take what resonates, okay? Um, when I was doing your meditation or the meditation for your collective, I was getting images of a starfish and I, you know, I'm starting this new thing where I'm like taking down notes on what, what I, what I see. And, you know, the starfish can mean a lot of things like you could talk about, you know, having that hard exterior, right? Um, but ultimately for me, I feel like the starfish talks about <clears throat> being too, uh, concerned with other people's opinions or um, worrying too much about what other people think. Um, there's also that feeling of holding on too much to things that are superficial, like money, um, fame, recognition, um, you know, material possessions, right? But yeah, it just mainly talks about not wanting to ex express your more vulnerable side fully. And I also got the message that says, tap into your creativity. That's what I heard. Spirit was saying, tap into your creativity and don't spread yourself too thin like peanut butter. <laughs> I don't know why, but I got that message. So someone here likes peanut butter. <laughs> peanut, 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 peanut butter. You see, I even wrote it down. <laughs> Oh my god, don't spread yourself too thin, Cancer. <laughs> For some of you, that could mean a whole different thing. <laughs> but we're not going to go there. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We're going to pull a Spirit Animal Oracle card to get your current energy. Well, that one wanted to come out, actually. Let's see. Scarab Beetle Spirit. And it says magic works through you. So some of you could really be getting into, you know, magic. Learning the art. Um, <clears throat> this also just talks about tapping into your creative nature because we are all um, descendants from from source energy. So I, I don't even know if I said that right, but we are all, we are all part of source energy, and spirit is saying like tap into that source, tap into your creativity. Maybe for some of you, you are tapping into your creativity. Let's see. I'm gonna pull some energy oracle cards here. All right, universe, spirits, and guys, what else can you tell me? For Cancer's highest good. What else can you tell me? Yin and yang, balance. You're finding balance. That's what I heard. 22, you are tapping into your creative. I don't know, for some of you, I feel like maybe things are beginning to feel balanced in your life. There's this feeling of like normalcy, feeling normal again. You know what I mean? Especially like with conditions being as they are with COVID and everything. And maybe this could be talking about the you know, presidential campaign, that feeling of like normalcy, things are going back together. 
or things are going back to the way they were, you know. And then you got community. So this card ultimately talks about understanding that there are people around you who love and support you for everything that you are, right? It's a sisterhood, it's a soul tribe, whatever you wanna call it. It's you are understanding that you have people who have your back. And look, the temple path, you're following the temple path. Sorry if that reflection, it's been bugging me. I've been trying, I gotta angle it just right. You see? So it's like you're following the spiritual path, which is beautiful. Cancer. Let's go ahead and pull some enchanted map cards. Let's see, Spirit, what else can you tell me about the collective of Cancer? It's like learning how to be more vulnerable. Put yourself out there. Let's see, Spirit. What else can you tell me for the collective of cancer? What else can you tell me? Making a choice. There's a decision here that ultimately needs to be made. Uh, there's a path. Um, it's like knowing which path to take because both paths look, you know, enticing. It's like trying to, f I just heard trying to understand your spiritual path, your, what role you play. Golden Palace. I'm gonna have to read that one, but I feel like it almost feels like a pilgrimage. Like, you know that you're gonna have to get to, like this is, this is your, your goal is to reach the, that palace. And you, and you know that it's gonna take quite a bit of effort and you know that you're gonna have to make a decision on how you're gonna get there. <laughs> and then you got flying. <laughs> You're gonna fly there. You're gonna fly there, Cancer. You're gonna hop on a unicorn <laughs> and fly to that golden palace. <laughs> yeah, it's like escaping the maze. Let me see what that card says. Hang on. Number 23. There is always enough. The Golden Palace card represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, wealth, and prosperity. It may also indicate emotional fulfillment as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that's long overdue. The message here is that self-worth isn't me measured by what you have, no matter how abundant your life is. Instead, it comes from what you are how authentically you're living your life, and how much love you're willing to share. Granted, receiving this card does, does indicate material gain and a furthering of tangible rewards, but things come and go, and knowing your true value leads to even greater riches now. Share the wealth. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Because what did, what did I write on your notes? Tap into your creativity, yep. 
Mm hmm Okay, let's jump into the tarot. We're gonna see what else Spirit has to say here. Hang on. Divine timing. I keep hearing divine timing. Wait for a sign. Let's see what else, Spirit. What messages do you have for my beautiful Cancer? Let's see, Spirit. What else? What can you tell us? By the way, I'm using um, the movie tarot deck. If you're if you're curious, I just got this deck as a as a birthday gift from one of my cousins, and it's like my new favorite deck. <laughs> it's just so fun. Three of Swords. So you've been hurt before, I feel, or you're just afraid of being hurt. Take it as it resonates. But ultimately, this is what's keeping you from making a decision on, on how to move forward. Three of coins? Work? You're working? So three of coins talks about work. It talks about working with others. Um... Maybe this could be a situation at work. I don't know. Uh, you could be trying to get a new job. I don't know, but I keep hearing work, work, work. Ace of Swords. Clarity, victory, triumph. Mostly clarity, truth. It's like understanding your true power, understanding understanding your worth. What? And then you got the Ace of Coins. So there is a new opportunity here. So some of you could be jumping into a different career or getting a new job. But this talks about a new opportunity, taking on a new opportunity or an opportunity opening up for you in regards to work. Queen of Wands, Katniss Everdeen, you know, she's the go-getter. She is inspiring. She is motivated. She's not afraid to do the dirty work. She goes after what she wants in life. That's very much your energy, Cancer. It's almost this feeling of like, I have the motivation and I have the, um, the confidence to move forward, but now what do I do? Which direction do I go? He's like this feeling of understanding more of who you are, but not knowing which way to go with it. <laughs> then you got justice. So this talks about Things happening in your favor. Things are going to work out. That's what I'm hearing. Five of Wands. Now why is that showing up in the middle of a read? Competition. Knight of Cups. 
opening up your heart. Death. That's Jake Gyllenhaal right there. And then you got the tower right next to Katniss Everdeen. Samuel L. Jackson. So it feels like you've had a realization of who you are and what you're about. And things, I feel like things are, have, like, I feel like things are working out in your favor. Like, it feels like things are happening for you. But then with this Knight of Cups over here, with this Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Death card, I just keep hearing like, you're learning how to open up your heart more. You're learning how to be more vulnerable. And it, and it feels, I just get this very competitive vibe. Like, you feel like you're having to compete for yourself. Yeah, it's like this Katniss Everdeen energy of like, I gotta do what I have to to survive. Maybe that's part of your tower moment is understanding your true power, right? Understanding the influence that you do have. Because with the death card here, I keep hearing embrace change. Don't be too scared of change because with this 10 of wands on the bottom of the deck, I, I think that this feels like a huge obstacle for you. Like it's stressing you out, you know what I mean? All right, spirit. Let's get a most likely outcome here for Cancer. And then we'll close out this reading. What are we at? 17 minutes. Yeah, for some of you, I see you truly ascending in terms of like spirituality. For some of you, I see you <clears throat> really going after what it is that you want. And it's like, you ain't got time to waste, Cancer. That's what I feel. Yeah, see? The Seven of Cups in reverse. It's that feeling of surrender, that feeling of like knowing what you want and learning how to let go. King of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, abundance could be lacking and maybe <clears throat> Look, Ace of Pentacles again. Yep, and then you got the Knight of Cups again. Wow. <laughs> oh man, this is kind of crazy. You got the Five of Cups and the Ten of uh, Cups. So it feels like things are still... It feels like you're halfway to your happiness, if that makes any sense. Like, I feel like maybe you've put in a lot of effort towards your happiness, your emotional fulfillment, and you're you're only halfway there like you're 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 only halfway 
through the battle. And <clears throat> Spirit is saying, the more that you learn to release this uh, energy of, you know, this energy of there being a lack, this energy of not having enough abundance, the sooner you let that go, that's when an opportunity will pre present itself to you. And this is going to be an opportunity that's going to make you happy, I feel. With this Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups could talk about good news forthcoming. But I feel like it's what's going to lead to your emotional bliss. Because even though the Five of Cups is here, I don't feel like it's anything to be worried about. I feel like it's more just that energy of like appreciating what, what you do have. You know, it's knowing that even though things may not have worked out in the past, there's still more opportunities there for you because these two cups are still full. Even though these cups have spilled over and empty, there's still these two cups here. So it's like understanding that it's gonna take that shift in perspective to help you see truly, you know, the abundance around you. And that's what's going to lead to your emotional fulfillment. Beautiful, Cancer. But there's an opportunity for you that's coming. All right, let's go ahead and pull a Shaman Oracle card. What advice do we have for Cancer, Spirit? What advice do we have for my beautiful Cancer? What advice do we have? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Many paths. <laughs> Let me read that one because I'm just hearing like, you know, there's gonna be many um it's like ha it's like the feeling of having too too many options and the one that's going to set you free is the one that you put your heart and intention towards you know basically learning how to follow your heart and understanding that the path to freedom is the one that speaks mostly to your heart look at that it even says right here, all paths lead to spirit. What you bring to your journey is what will determine if yours is a path of suffering, a path of wisdom, a path of bliss, or a path of loss. Consider the traveler who met two stones masons, uh, blah, blah, blah. Be sure to pick a path with a heart. Your call now is to take a big, bold step and leave the beaten path. Heaven and earth are conspiring on your behalf to support you in this move. Do not dally lest you miss the moment. It's time to sail into the uncharted. Be sure you attend to both your path through this earth as well as your journey through the stars. You have outgrown your current situation and risk losing your way in your own backyard. You are being called to step out of your comfort zone. Respond now while the call is still a gentle whisper. Even though the woods look thick and impenetrable, venture in and let nature guide your steps through the dark until you reach your destination. Remember, if you do not know where you are going, any path will take you there. It's just a matter of just like taking the first steps, right? 
Don't get cold feet. That's what I heard. Don't get cold feet, Cancer. All right, let's pull one more animal oracle card, okay? Because Spirit wanted to get, get me two. Yeah. You got the parrot spirit. It says, watch your words. And this card, you know, could be talking about conflict with other people, but it's mostly talking about watching the words that you say to yourself, right? It's that self-doubt, that negativity that you constantly feed to yourself. Spirit is saying, watch those words because the, the words that hurt you the most are the ones that come from yourself. Does that make sense? Fly, show your colors like the parrot, you know? And then you got the mouse spirit. It says, tend to the small things. Don't forget to appreciate the little things you have in life, you know? Like, for example, for me, it's this candle, this really delicious smelling candle. What scent is this? Fall farmhouse. Mm, this is fall season after all. I love my candles to smell just like Chris Evans. <laughs> and I'm telling you that one. Mm -hmm. There's another one too that I forgot what uh, what it was called. I think it was called like Starry Night, but that one. Oh. <laughs> all right, Cancer. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. If this reading resonated with you, please go ahead and click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And until next time, Cancer, I will see you later. Bye.